Hey Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia at the Fuzzy Goat on this wonderful Tuesday. I hope y'all had a great weekend. I know we did. We had a lot of fun having James here. We have his picture here. That, so I feel like he's sitting with me this morning uh, or this afternoon. I'm sorry. Um, but we had a lot of fun and we appreciate all of you that um, logged on and came into the shop and made it a success. Um, so, okay, so before I get talking about my projects, um, I will, I'm wearing the Anchor Tee, the DK Weight um, Anchor Summer Tee. Um, there is, she has several versions, so this is the DK Weight. Um, so I wanted to mention that before we got any further. This, and I also used Knitwise um, Teal, Love, Teal Love, I think is what it's called. I love knitting with the Knitwise DK yarn, or any yarn first, but, um, all right, so I ha I wanted to mention a couple things, that, patterns that I found. So when we were at market, I, I think I mentioned I started feeling like I wanted to do a cardigan. Yeah. So that kind of yeah. took me down a I path. Um, I saw one there that I really, really liked, so it took me a while to find it on Ravelry, and I think I did, because I think she, she had just um, designed it. So it's, and I'm thinking fingering, I have a couple that are heavier weight, but I'm thinking something that I could bring into like, um, Cadence has me hooked on this, but like into the movie theater, <laughs> you know, you just need a little something extra maybe in the summertime. So this is called the Helga Cardigan. It's very simple, but what I loved about it is the little detail. And I, if I remember when I saw it at market, I want to say maybe that ca that little cable went down the side of the arm. Maybe maybe not. There there weren't. There's not that many projects. Cause like I said, I think she just designed it. But it's the Helga cardigan, and it's a fingering weight. She she held two laces together. So that is an option of, for me. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys again. It's the Helga, and I'll put the link up um, underneath the comments here. And then of course I came across this other one that is a DK weight cardigan. Yeah. Which I love DK. And this is really cute. It's a Sophie. But it's different than the one I have, right? So I could actually technically do both of them. A lot of detail in this one. Move it up. And there's also something in the back. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. So a DK weight called Sophie. Yeah. And it looks like it's it's fitted, which is a little unusual for me. This one, the Helga one, might be a little looser. I guess it just depends on how much ease I put in it. Anyway, just thought I'd mention those two patterns for you. Something else that I'm super excited about. We, um, Dando, um, uh, her name is Alexander. I never say it right. Oh, Yo, Yo, Yumiko Alexander. So she's Dando. Um, we're doing her knit along. It starts the end of this month. I have not, I'm planning to sign up. I have not signed up yet, but you can, I'll put a link in as well. Um, the pattern is called Lily, L-I-L-Y. Um, we are selling kits. You can go on our website, um, fuzzygoatyarns.com, and we have three colors that we're doing. There's a couple options with this, something to do with the sleeves and also length. Our kits will have seven skeins in them. So we didn't do like all these different sizes. So you can go online and figure out um, the, I mean, which, uh, the yardage. I mean, there's seven skeins in each one of them. So I was going to show you real quick. The pattern is included if you get the kit. She tells you how to go on Ravelry and, and get it, redeem it, and then how to download it. And then there's also, um, they're going to have some lives, I guess, or some Zoom type things with a knit along. It's, um, I think you can go to dando.com backslash fall semicolon, the two dots, I think I'm saying that right, colon, semi, anyway, um, 2022. So I I'm, um, haven't done that yet, so I need to so that I can get all her information. So let me show you the three colors we have. Oh, I can't believe we're calling them, let's see. And I want you guys to tell me which ones you think that I am getting. So this is autumn. I think it's the one in her, her sample here, okay? Uh, they've called them the two different sleeves they're doing is uh, flutter sleeves or the kimono sleeves. Couldn't tell too much of a difference myself, but there is a difference. One is more fluttery, I think. So, anyway, so this is autumn. Thank you, Sherry, for my, this is the um, anchor team, DK weight. Thank you for mentioning that. This is Pacific which is a beautiful color. And then the third color we have is Sangria. Ding, ding, ding. This is the winner. This is the one, although this is 
would be another one that I would like to do. Um, but I am doing sangria. So just I uh, want to show you those kits. They are up online right now. And then you, you, you sign up at Ondando so that you can join in in the knit along if you, if you choose to. Uh, I just thought the pattern was kind of cool. Uh, let me show you one more time. A lot of... Let me, let me read this to you too because I think it might be knitted flat, I want to say. No, I guess the sleeves are knitted flat maybe. I don't know. For, okay, doesn't really say. But anyway, this is what I'm doing. It starts in this month, and I'm not, I'm not probably talking about it during my lives, too. Uh, it's a linen yarn. Yeah, it's her linen yarn. I'm trying to think what else I can tell you about it. These skeins have, just in case you, 124 yards on them. And like I said, the kit has seven in them. Okay? So you just know what yardage there is there. So go check it out on Ravelry and also on our website, CozyGoatYarns.com. All right, so my patterns. So life was busy this weekend, which is fine. So I didn't get a whole lot of knitting done, but I was okay with that. So the first project I want to talk about um, is the heart again. So this is kind of cool. Like I think it's going to take a while, but it, at first, you know, I realized I had to watch the pattern and really, um, you know, look at the pattern a lot. But now that I'm getting further along, look, guys, this, oh, the sun's hitting it just nice. Isn't that cool? Like, you can definitely see what's supposed to be happening. So, so I have finished one whole repeat. I'm going to show you the chart. because That's what I like to look at so I can just see where I am. I finished the whole repeat, which is 40, 39, 39 yards, uh, 40, 40 rows. So I've done it once, and I think um, I think this is the back that I'm doing. I'm going to do it five times, so it's so I can visualize what's happening. My goal is to try to do one of these each week. We'll see, because you have other things going on. But that's my goal. But I'm thinking that's pretty cool, isn't it? How it's coming along? Yeah. Um, the so I have to do it's pieced together. Um, I believe this is the back. And then the sleeves also have the pattern, but we are, this is, I'm naming this for a friend. So um, we're talking about perhaps not doing the pattern on the sleeves, which I don't think you'd have to, um, just so it, you know, wouldn't take as long. But um, yeah, again, this is the one that um, I'm using ones on just based on the gauge. This was also the Spud and Chloe fine that was in our, our sale. So yeah, it's the heart again. Let me show you. So do the chart. And it's the, the, if you remember the pictures, the bright orange. So, and I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do the sleeves without the pattern, which would make it easier. I might be able to taper it more, not having to work within the parameters of the pattern repeat type thing. All right. So there we go. The heart again. That's been fun. Um, the bot, the V, the V neck boxes. Hold on. All right. V neck boxy. Here we go. Oh, he's pattern. I not a real I mean it's fine to knit but just not a whole lot going on so great if you got you know going somewhere that you're maybe not gonna be paying a lot of attention to but I have oh on the other one too I started my second ball of yarn on that hard end which is always like to me very exciting when you can start scratching you know chicken scratching off those balls and this one as well I believe I'm on my second ball hold on sorry Got my little llamas on there. See, which that cute. Um, so yeah, so this is this way. The back. God just got a ways to go. You got to chip away at it. But I do think I'll wear this a lot, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to get going on it. I think I've got. I don't know. I didn't work too much on it this weekend. Maybe I think I have to get 16 inches. So I probably have about six more to go if I had to get from. Let me show you from this point down. Yeah, probably about six more. So that's fine. That's fine. It's a ni it's a nice yarn to work with. This is um, yarnless traveled or traveling, however you want to say it. Uh, it's got a little silk in it, so it's super soft. Um, and I think last week I forgot to mention the scarf I'm working for my sister. I haven't picked it up again yet, but it's um, somebody this weekend had bought some yarn to, to to make the stole with. So it comes with a couple different sizes. It's the do I have it here? I don't have it here. Um, Caladium Scarf and Stole. C-A-L-A-D-I-U-M. And I will put the link up. 
this is a this one the scarf is a one skein project i'm using copper corgi uh the stole of course i think i don't remember how many skeins but it's a really cute pattern i mean yeah so i just haven't haven't picked that one up yet all right so the last one i want to talk about which i'm super excited about is this up or onward and upward okay and this is this is, um, yeah, somebody's asking, I think if I got a haircut, yes, I did get a haircut, <laughs> but I'm not sure if you're asking me, but I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. Uh, the onward and upward is, it's a fairly new pattern. It is a sport weight pattern, but I'm using fingering. So I had to do, um, I think she's knitting hers in a seven. I'm still knitting mine in a six and it's, let's see, it's going pretty quickly. I am now in the round. I think I need some more, more needle stitch stoppers there I uh, really like this yarn this is um, a new one that we're going to be getting in it's called Northwood North Northwood fiber yeah don't know if we're going to actually get this specific color in but they're all very happy colors like this um, so I'm a little worried about the neck but I think I might have to stretch that out interesting construction um, that you do the back well to this point and then you pick up the shoulder so you start the back go down pick up um, no yes pick up a shoulder cast on for the back of the neck and then pick up over here so I'm wondering it was supposed to be I think 29 inches on either side of the neck I'm wondering if I should have I don't know I think I can when I block it I think I can stretch it out I didn't want it to be too boat neck because those kind of get on my nerves when you see the bra strap and stuff so I, th I think I'll be okay once I block it and you will pick up and do a little bit on the sleeves um, so I probably will do uh, thinking when I kind of looked at, I might do more than what they have recommended, but now I am in the round, um, that has this cute little detail on the front and back little lace work right there. And then every so often it's got this little garter stitch and then the bottom, which I haven't, I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the bottom. And she also has two different lengths. I think a crop length, which when I was reading, a lot of people said the crop was long enough for them and they don't normally do crops. So I think there's a lot of length in her pattern. Uh, but the pat bottom of it's got a little lace work there that um, is in a different color. So I'm thinking I may do that in Jackie Oak because I just love it. But I don't know yet. We'll see when I get there. But this has been fun, pretty fast. And the round, that always helps. So, and this, this color makes me think of like a carnival. Like, I don't know, cotton candy or something. So, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, call us or text us if we can help you plan a project or send you colors, options, or, or yarns that you want to see together. We, we, have, we love to help you do that. Um, I'll see you next week. You can oh, text us, call us, or email us at fuzzygoat at, I'm oh, sorry, 229-336. Is that what it is? Goat? I think that's what it is. What did I say? Three, two, six. Two, three, six. Four, six, two, eight. Four, six, two, eight. So last, it's goat. That's goat. That's in, in phone terms. Um, but yeah, so I look forward to talking to you guys. You guys have a great week. Bye.